Hello, you're welcome. Also, this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. And this here we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 90 from here. Then we apply the power of log m here. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m and this here we have x log 9 equals to log 90 from here the next step here divide both side by log 9 and this divide this side by log 9 also divide this side by log 9 which implies here log 9 cancel each other and we have x equals to log 90 over log 9. Then from here, also, I write 90 as 9 times 10. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 9 times 10 over log 9. Then here, we apply the log log when well, we have log a times b this same thing as log a plus log b as this here we have x equals to log 9 plus log 10 over log 9 then here we separate this into two fractions and all we have becomes x equals to log 9 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9. As this here we have log 9 comes with each other one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log over log 9. Then, next step here also we can express 10 as 2 times 5. As this here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9. Then, yeah, this also follows the law of log ring, and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here we separate this into two fractions. As this we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9 then also here 9 can be written as 3 times 3 that's 3 squared then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 3 square plus log 5 over log 3 squared at this here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here and also here. Then we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. That is, we can write this as x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 3 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. Then, here we apply change of base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 
plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. Then, yeah, we bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to base 1 over 1, SEM made as 2. And here becomes 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. That is, the value of x here we have x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. That is, yeah, all we have becomes 9 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equals to 90 from here. Then here we can write 9 as 3 square, which is raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equals to 90 on this side. As this here, this power multiplies and 2 here cancels each other. You have 3 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. This is equals to 90 from here. Then here we apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power m. That is, yeah, this becomes 3 squared times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 90 on this side. Then here 3 squared, 3 times 3, that's 9. Then times this follows on we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. But this here is same thing as 2, then times here we have 5. This is equals to 90 from here. Then from here we have 2 times 5, 10. 10 times 9, that's 90, which is equals to 90 from here. That is left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude there that x equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell on. Share this video. Give a thumbs up with your comments. See you next time. Bye for now.